been in banking and finance now for around 20 years, but more so only over the last few years, you know, being pretty, pretty focused on the broking side of the business. Um, previously, I had other people within the business dealing with that, and I've studied financial planning and accounting and, and different facets. So uh, but the last couple of years, we've really had a strong focus at Infinity on financial literacy uh, and doing a lot of, and even before COVID, a lot of online education and, and teaching mums and dads, not selling a product and service or loan perhaps, but teaching them before they apply for a loan of how to budget and give it, really truly giving some credit advice um, around what they should be doing with their money before they even apply for a loan. So that's seen our business skyrocket and very fortunate to be able to speak on lots of stages and all sorts of stuff. So our core business is really financial literacy, which then results in, you know, a better loan structure for the customer. Look, it's, 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 it's humbling. And, and I think it's testament to the amazing team we have, but it's more testament to the amazing clients we have. We call it the infinity family. So we don't have clients and staff. It's, it's one big happy family and we're all working together for that outcome. So it's really testament to the results that our customers are achieving and the effort that the team's putting in to help them achieve it. So it's really nice to be recognised. Yeah, so our digital strategy, even prior to COVID, uh, we were doing a lot of weekly webinars and free education sessions and we were actually investing substantially financially and, and time-wise and energy of you know sourcing say dr andrew wilson a doctor of economics and we'd put him on a wednesday night webinar for free that we'd you know sometimes stream to facebook or do private registrations on zoom we'd bring in a chartered accountant a certified financial planner so running these you know these digital education workshops without any cost to a consumer that was instrumental and i think it was well received because then we then what started as, uh, I guess, financial literacy and education and giving back just more of a, a brand thing, like we wanted that awareness in the market, um, it actually turned into a significant lead generation, which it wasn't, it wasn't designed to be at the beginning. So I think for us, the judges, it was well received because it was something that was authentic that initially was a, a value add for the market and consumers that actually turned into a key driver of business and revenue. It's, it's a real honour, but I think more so, it's just an honour to know that the numbers haven't dissipated, you know, that as an industry, we're all being recognised. And it's such an honour that we have that list every year for people to be recognised and to be acknowledged that not just volume, but quality and how hard they're working. And but look, consistency is key. So it's good, you know, as I said, three three rankings in four years, That that's just that consistency piece that... You know, we're not sort of here one day and gone the next. So it's a real honour. It's it's yeah, we, we love it, but I think our clients, our Infinity family loves it more than anyone because they're their results, they're not mine. Without them, those numbers wouldn't exist. So it's good for them. They, they enjoy it. <laughs>